thought we might find this interesting. This is a clandestine radio that utilises a single valve to receive the BBC. Uh, I believe, looking at the components, we have a slow motion drive, variable condenser there, and a reaction and a aerial tuning condenser. Uh, all 1930s components. The valve is a, as you get it pretty close, is a battery valve, which is a triode, uses 1.5 volts for the filament, and uh, as you can see, the anode is at the top there, which is uh, typical of the old uh, 30s valves. It's an, all, it's an RCA design. Uh, filament is still intact after all these years, and it uses plug-in coils. I can just whack that one out. Yeah, it uses a that's probably a shortwave coil made by made by Edda Stone. Uh, and it, these are there's a medium wave and a probably a long wave coil because you can see there's masses of wire on that one. And as you say, it just uh, simply they all just pop into the holder there, like so. It's a variable condenser, it's got a slow motion drive. Use your set your roughly set your station, and then you've got the slow motion, which you see the variable capacitor there is opening and closing, probably about a 365 puff capacitor. You turn him over, so it's a good view of the valve there actually in the light. You can actually see the top there, you've got the the grid and the uh, filament connections and if you look on the base turn him over gently if you look in the there's a, a one mega ohm resistor there brown black green and a 300 puff capacitor which is uh, acting as a grid leak and that connects to the uh, grid of the valve there, valve base, and then you've got your filament connections, and um, that variable condenser there, that's your reaction control, which feeds a little bit of signal back to the aerial, which then goes back to the valve, and it uh, it kind of reciprocates and magnifies the signal about three times. It's an old trick they used in the twenties and thirties just to boost the volume, because you'll say you're using a one valve, you need a all the help you can get there. And that is the aerial tuning condenser there, look, with a nice uh, nice 1930s knob there. And so you've got your back connections. Amazing bit of kit. I've had him running. It's very quiet, so I uh, use it for the single earpiece there, which you could just say if it was for a prison camp, that would have been smuggled in. Easier to smuggle a single earpiece and obviously a headband, so there's a 2000 ohm earpiece. As you say, you've got the, the coils. Uh, beautiful, beautiful bit of history. I hope you agree. Uh, wonder what they uh, wonder what they heard on that all them years ago. A lot of doom and gloom, perhaps, or a lot of positive news. Hope you enjoyed him. Thank you.